January is famously known as the junk pile of the year in terms of cinema, especially horror. And man, has that been true in the last month. It's been tough to find films worth highlighting, good or bad, or any film worth getting exciting over. But as the month comes to a close, a new movie was released worth squawking about. So let's talk about The Seeding. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. The Seating is new on demand and in select theaters from Magnet Releasing. It's directed and written by Barnaby Clay. A nature photographer named Stone, played by Scott Hayes, finds himself lost in the desert and trapped in a small valley where a young woman named Alina, played by Kate Lynn Scheel, lives a life of solitude in a small shack with very limited means. At the rim of the steep valley, Stone discovers a group of strange children who torment him as he futilely attempts to escape. The seating is a raw and primal man-versus-nature story, Yes, he is being tormented by the children taunting from above, but for the most part, this is a story about one man desperately fighting against the elements for his own survival. Stone attempts to escape over and over, first reaching out for help, second attempting to climb out on his own, then to bargaining for his freedom, and finally broken and beaten, pleading for his own life. Playing Stone excellently is Scott Hayes, who you might recognize from What Jonah Saw, where he played a dim-witted brother, or Child of God, where he played a dim-witted outcast in a small town, or Antlers, where he played a dim-witted, drug-addicted, abusive father, or maybe you might have seen him in Jurassic World Dominion, which I have yet to see, but he's probably dim-witted in that one too. Either way, it's apparent from his resume that Hayes seems to be typecast as not-so-bright characters, and though he is a bit smarter in the seating, he still makes some bonehead mistakes along the way. Still, this makes his character utterly relatable, making you ask yourself what you would do if you were in this horrifying situation. Hayes plays a wonderful everyman character, and he does it so well, it isn't surprising that he returns to this role over and over again. Writer-director Barnaby Clay throws an entire world of hurt at Stone relentlessly. This not only highlights the terrible truth of the situation Stone finds himself in, but also the strength Stone finds within himself. The threats are many, but the main one is the reason why all of this is happening. There is a secret held until the end, though with a title like The Seeding, it doesn't take long to parse out what it is. But what makes it so interesting, despite the fact that you might have a hint of what's going on, is how far this film goes in terms of tormenting Stone to the end of his own sanity. Though she gives a much more subtle performance, Kate Lynn Scheel is wonderfully subdued as Alina. Why is she is in the pit, what is her connection to the children, and why is she so tight-lipped are all questions that are eventually answered. These questions are stretched out to a frustrating length, but this only adds to the pressure Stone is under in this inescapable situation. I haven't seen Sheil before, but looking at her IMDb, she seems like she's had a long career as a child actor. Her plain beauty highlights the mystery of the strange character she plays. These kids on the edge of the valley are truly menacing. They're the ultimate in school bullies, cowardly picking on the weak from a great distance and tearing Stone apart bit by bit. Stone could probably rip them to shreds himself if not for the valley wall between them. The film avoids calling them what they truly are. This very well could have been an updated reboot of The Hills Have Eyes as these hill children I am Lothar of the hill people. are very much inbred monsters who don't really have an inkling of what civilization is like. Stone talks about a microcosm where something in a small area grows within a larger ecosystem as he plants food over his extended stay in the valley. This serves as a metaphor for these children who have formed a small society with its own rules and religion in the middle of the desert where it seems like very little grows. Bookending each chapter of The Seeding are title cards depicting the faces of the moon labeled over a dish of food that seems to be rotting the longer the film goes on. 
This also serves as another great metaphor of Stone's psyche and physical state as his ordeal continues. Filmmaker Barnaby Clay isn't afraid to slow down the pace of this movie to highlight the beautiful aspects of the canyon the action takes place in, such as slow shots of withered vegetation, patterns on the valley wall, and maggots squirming on the plate of food. It's in these smaller moments that we get a sense of the decay going on within our main character. The seating is a bleak and beautiful little film. It highlights some truly grotesque things along the way, but ultimately tells a story of survival in an up-close and personal sense through Stone's arduous situation and from a distance with more broad themes of life and death. Adding to the horror is the score, which seemingly is made through primitive objects clanging together and tribal rhythms that feel like they are old as the walls of this desert pit. The seating is a thinking man's hills have eyes. It's a film for the patient, but those who are willing to go on this trek will experience some outstanding performances by Scott Hayes and Caitlin Scheel, gorgeously dangerous sights, and tribal sounds highlighting an almost unsolvable primal challenge for the hero. I highly recommend this mesmerizing yet emotionally taxing little horror film. Yeah. 